Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dan, the voice behind that Kaito Dan, and welcome to Ruby Chippy Episode 6, Reaction. Yeah, we're now on to Episode 6 now for Ruby Chippy, this thing's really starting to get on a good run now. And after last week, that was probably my favourite episode so far, with some of my favourite skits already seen in the series, especially the Shadow People skit. So, I'm very excited to see if they can continue doing so many great skits at this point in time, or if they're going to be a bit, you know, lesser than that, I don't know. Either way, I'm excited to see what's next, I'm really tired, I'm really starting to feel a bit sick as well, so I need something to help lift up my mood, uh, before I go and have a nap. So, uh, let me just get sorted, headphones in, switching over to the episode, and we're going to begin in 3, 2, 1... Again, still wish I could go to RTX, but there's always next year. Plus, I'm probably going to go to uh, London Comic Con on our end, where uh, Rooster Teeth goes sometimes as well, so I'm looking forward to that. And now into the episode. Oh yeah, the uh, Summer of Animations bit before. By the way, seen the first episode of Camp Camp? Love it. I am on board like a shot. Oh god, more Weiss chores. Again, she doesn't seem the type that would do chores. She does it well, though. <laughs> uh oh. Zwai! Blake! <laughs> of course! Cats and dogs aren't exactly big fans of vacuums. Not as bad as Professor Peach. I like her. Yeah, but she's not around very often. Who is Professor Peach? We have yet to see her! <laughs> no capes! What the hell is in that comic? Like no capes! Like I'm starting to see a running theme here. <laughs> Sean! Well, it's turned about this fair play since you did kind of dirty Weiss's cleaning floor. Oh, I think I know what's gonna happen here. The man with two souls, too? Uh oh. See, this is the drawback of liking books, but also using them as bed support. Don't use why! Very nice. Hey, Blake, can I borrow that book you were reading? No! Do not sp do not dirty her mind any more than you already did before. And oh, we got a Jean transition. <laughs> Nora! Red Pillar! We got the got the rest of the team. Oh, we're kind of not talking about spoilers here. Oh, uh, now I just miss Pyrrha even more. Ever. Hey, don't look at me! I'm- I'm- I'm not spoiling anything! So, you guys wanna keep doing comedy segments? lovely! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that chill from Ren! I think this means now that we're starting to get more Team Juniper stuff now. <laughs> oh, that was a brilliant little treat to the end there. Oh, that was fun. Not many, like... Punch, big punchline skits, a lot of it was just kind of very subtle, like the stuff with Ruby's cape, um, and some small bits like with the uh, mentioning Professor Peach and all that. But still fun, and again, I'm just so glad that they started to possibly use Team Juniper more. They got very good models for Pera, Ren, and uh, Nora. We've only had seen uh, Jean and Nora before uh, this episode. Um, and I guess now that they're kind of curtailing around the fact that yeah, things happened at the end of Volume 3, but for the sake of our show here, the comedy spin-off, maybe we're not going to reference it just yet. Maybe at all. So, that's fair, because I think we can do a lot of good comedy bits with, um, like, 
Pyrrha's ma uh, control over magnets, uh, Ren's sort of calm, cool nature, and Nora being Nora. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what's next. If it seems like Team Juniper's up to bat now, I wonder if it is just going to be them as well. Uh, but yep, that's it for episode 6. Uh, let me know what you think in the, of the episode in the comments down below. And until next time, have a good day or good night, and peace out.